What is going on guys? All right, so today marks the first day of my drive back to New York from California. Right now I'm in Fremont, which is right next to San Jose. For those of you guys who don't know, it's in East Bay, uh, Bay Area, California, right? And I'm driving back to New York all the way across the country, but this time, instead of taking the scenic route, which I, which I did last time, I'm just gonna go and gun it straight home. And if you can, as you noticed, my car is literally jam-packed. Like, there's no, oh God. But there's like literally no space left in my car. You literally can't see any, <laughs> there's no space left in my car. I've used every bit of real estate. Except for literally, except, except for the front. Like, if I, if I didn't have this, I wouldn't be able to drive. But like, that's like the only thing, space that I have left in my car that doesn't have something in it. Uh, the entire back is filled. Um, I guess I'm mentally prepared. Um, I'm trying to make this into a three to four day trip trying to drive maybe 16, uh, 12 to 16 hours a day, uh, like driving, not like on the road. Cause on the road, if I'm on the road for 16, but I take like four hour break, then, you know, I'm only driving for 12, that kind of stuff. But I'm excited. I, I'm gonna, my first stop is gonna be in Sacramento. I'm gonna go up to see some friends. Uh, they own a bagel shop called Bagel Time. So if you're ever in Sacramento and you're craving a bagel, you want nice via iced coffee, you want you know, chill vibes, you wanna meet my friends, make sure you head out to Bagel Time in Sacramento. They're super chill and the food is good, really good too. Um, so that's my first stop. Uh, I've got my first coffee already. I just packed all my stuff, handed my keys away, got my security deposit back. So I'm ready. I'm ready to make this trip. And it's a little bit crazy to me because it 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 did it does get a little bit um, emotional because it feels like I'm closing like a chapter an entire chapter of my life uh, after being in California for an entire year but you know it's for it's for the best it's something that I feel like I need to do for the time being and who knows maybe one day I'll make it back out to California but for now I'm gonna start driving so maybe uh, I don't my window my windshield's kind of dirty uh, and I don't really want to wash it because I'm driving across the fucking country uh, so maybe sometimes you'll see scenery but more often than not, you'll just see my face and me talking to you. But peace for now. I'll see you guys in Sacramento. All right, we just we just arrived to our first stop in Sacramento, where we're at my friend's place, Bagel Time, and we're gonna get some beer, iced coffee, and lunch too. We'll see. We'll see what they're up to. See what they're up to in there. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right. Huh? It's a vlog. It's gonna be a vlog. Say hello. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, first hour and a half done. <laughs> first hour. Big old time's closing already. What time is it? What's your name? Who are you? Pray hacks. Pray hacks. Matt. Oh. Masters League of Legends player. <laughs> it's okay. No one's gonna say anything. I mean, you already you already came out of the store. It's fine. <laughs> What's up, guys? Quick update. I think I'm in Bumblefuck, Nevada, somewhere. There's deserts everywhere. I mean, it's really wild. Well, 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 well. Uh, I'm just waiting for the sun to die down because once the sun dies down, it's going to be an easier drive. Plus, the highway is clear as fuck because there's no one on it. It's hot. It's really hot. It's really, 104 degrees is really hot. It's dry though, but it's really, it's fucking hot, dude. I can't, I can't. Also, I'm still in the same rest stop, but this rest stop is hella sketchy. There's only one other car here. And there's, okay, they're leaving now. But it's just hella sketchy. There's like no one here. It's quiet. I mean, the, the light's still out though, so that's good. But too damn quiet. Plus, the bathrooms are disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting in there. But at least I was the only one there and I didn't touch anything. Hopefully, I'm COVID free still. 
but who knows? I mean, I'm gonna quarantine myself for like two weeks when I get home, but for now, I think I'm still good. All right, time to drive again, but look at this. Here's my snack pile. Shout out to Jessica for getting me this banana bread for my road trip. Um, and as like a parting gift kind of thing. But let's see. Yeah, I think I, I have this flies in my freaking car now. God damn it, all right. I'll see you guys in a bit. It is 11.18. Uh, we're currently, we're just chilling at a rest stop. Day one, I drove, I've been on the road for 12 hours now. Um, drove about 10 of it, so I took like a few breaks here and there, mostly to get gas, but also to get food. Um, funny story, right? The clock on the car didn't change but it passed, so I lied, it's actually 12, it's actually 12.20 right now. Um, so it, the clock changed on my on my phone, but not on my uh, car, right? So I tried to book a room, there's, I mean, obviously Expedia's got a ton of good deals. So I booked the room for tonight, thinking that it was Thursday night into, uh, into Friday, so I could check out early morning Friday. Uh, but my dumbass ended up booking tonight as in like it is past 12 so tonight as in Friday into Saturday and I won't be here for tomorrow because my plan is to get to Denver by tomorrow or Denver sometime tomorrow. They're they're on the phone with the hotel. Hopefully they clear something up or they hopefully they come up with something where I can either pay like a little bit more for for tonight and and get like the rest uh get the money back for tomorrow or I can like transfer that room that I paid for tomorrow to tonight logically that makes sense like if there's an open room still tonight or multiple open rooms it'd be better to fill it for the night right uh, it's already 12 hopefully they come up with something cuz I am in need of a shower I am tired I, I just want to sleep um, hopefully Expedia clears it up. If they do clear it up, I give them a good review. If they don't, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I mean, we're 10 hours in. Supposedly, uh, we have. I think. I think we have 32 hours left. 32 hours left, and I don't think I'm gonna make it in three days. <laughs> uh, I think it's gonna be four days. Um, I think 10 hours each day will bring us to. Um, bring us to 30 basically 32 right 10 hours 10 hours 11 you know 11 12 um, but tomorrow the plan is to get to Denver uh, hang out with some old co-workers uh, probably grab dinner and then like crash on at one of their places oh my god something about the air dude I need to sneeze so bad I think if I get a good night's rest tomorrow and I wake up energized on Saturday I'm going to gun it home or try to at least to make it that three-day trip if I can right so if I finish these two days it's gonna be 20 hours and then there's gonna be about 22 23 hours left so I don't know if I can do a 24 hour drive I'm gonna do it but we'll see we'll see everyone who's in a car is probably knocked out or sleeping right now um you know worst case scenario they don't give my refund back and i you know i just wasted a hundred dollars uh so it's as if i took a hundred dollar bill and i dropped it on the floor and left it there <laughs> i think i'm doing a lot better than i did last time i think the second time like doing something for the second time is always easier than the first time but at this point a, an eight hour drive is or like a six hour drive is like I'm not I am not phased by a six hour drive, which feels super weird to say it's either the hotel pulls through or I knock in my car for a little bit and it's okay because I have well you can't see but I have like a sleeping bag right here that I could use as a pillow. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so I'm back again. Um I don't wanna talk too loud because I don't know how how thin the walls are, but I got to the motel um, the Expedia guy pulled through. I'm so tired. I'm gonna knock. Probably sleep for like six hours and then I'm 
gonna get up and start driving to Denver. When I did it from New York to California, I said I would never do this drive alone again. And here I am doing this drive alone again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's an adventure. Driving across the country is an adventure. Tomorrow is another 10 hour drive. And then we'll see where I go from there. Today's day one. Day one is officially over right when I go to sleep. And I can't think of anything else to say. Wow. Yeah, I got nothing. Peace. I hope you guys had a good day.